Hey everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Last time we helped Prince Faris win the Sand National. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, not too long afterwards, we found out that the Slayer of Sands was out and about. Apparently comes out every year around this time. And Prince Faris was enlisted to slay it because of how well he performed in the Sand National. I need no disrespect, Your Highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain deaths. <laughs> Fear not, trusted retainers. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Ah, impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. Now, the, the hell is that bang? is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis. For Galopolis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see his plan here. Room for a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast hunt. Huh? Okay. There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Hmm. Well, aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little deer? Look, I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? <laughs> yeah, sure. Hmm. At least one of you has some sense. Lead on, darling! Ow! Ow! Alright, so we need to head to the Celestial Sands checkpoint. So it's probably going to be in those ruins at like north northeast of the Celestial Sands, there or thereabouts. Me. Is everyone healed up? Yeah. Halt! The Slayer of Sands is on loose. I cannot you. Ah, you're the ones who will be coming Prince Faris, yes? A thousand pounds. Yeah. Damn right, a thousand pounds. Alright, what are you? Are you going to be what I need to kill with the knife? Haystack mailers. Okay. Is that a rapier that he's using? It's not what I expected him to go with. Oh. <sighs> okay. Sure. 
So we use first one is three of them, and we use this one there's only one left. That makes sense. And um, I would like the shiny thing. Ooh. I do not want to fuck with you, though. You, on the other hand. Prestidigit... Prestidigitators. Okay, so you guys are going to be like super fucking strong magic or something. What are you good at? She can't dish out hits and she sure as hell can't take them. Huh. Weird. Alright, you are kind of creepy, just stood here. So, is that thing? This can't be right, can it? I thought there'd be some sort of event here. Oh, a Spitfire! Wait, those? One of these is what I've got to kill with the pet powers? Oh, fuck that. Uh, I, I, I regret my choice. Um, we we'll keep tops up. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Let's put. Fuck. That would have been nice. If he double attacks her, she's dead. I need to keep Serana top. Oh. Ugh. This is gross. Oh, fuck off. So, note to self, uh, not screwing with any more of those. Because, shit. At least I know what they are now, but fuck. I guess I wasn't super bad, but it really could have been.
Let us spend the night here. The monster will have to wait. Oh, I get it. As you can see, I have decided to set up camp. We will continue our quest in the morning. Yeah. That's right. You get your beauty sleep, Princey dear. You've got a hard day of getting us to do your dirty work for you to be preparing for. <laughs> Come on, you. Let's have a sit down and a nice chat, shall we? Sure. Wow, he so, can actually sleep like that. And two girls out on a lovely adventure together, huh? How romantic. But what kind of adventure, I wonder? Come on, spill the beans. To be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet. But for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mystery surrounding the Luminary, you see? It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth, that's enough. You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester our whole life story. We barely know him. My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, well, that does sound fun. Hmm. You've got a strange idea of fun. What about you, Silvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kiddies. Betty buys. <laughs> Well, aren't we full of mysteries? What's his deal? Okay, so Princey's gone off ahead again for some reason. I'm not sure where you go off ahead in front of the people that you like wanted to be your bodyguards, but I don't know, maybe I'm missing something here. It's a lot of those Spitfires actually. Is quite good, at least I know where they are. Ah, uh, let's hit one of these crabs. Rapidapity. Fuck's sake. Ah, uh, that is not taking any physical damage, is it? Yep, that'll do it. Veronica wins again. Yay. Uh, I don't think I can. Twelve. No, I can't. Alright, uh, so that was the Crabba Dabba Doo. What are you? A fly thumb. Of course. Oh, 
Wow, I literally had one health left. Thank goodness. All right, Princey is just here. Perfect. Huh? Ah. The Slayer of the Sands was last seen here. <sighs> the cowardly creature is nowhere to be found. It must have fled in fear. Let us return to the castle and inform my father of our success. Mm -hmm. So it is a honking great big scorpion. Nice. and Principal, show that filthy thing what real knights are made of. Oh dear, looks like poor old Ferris has been struck down with stage fright. You soldiers, beat the ears and look after him, will you? Come on, gang. This little drama needs a hero or two. <laughs> Alright, the Slayer of the Sands draw near. draws near. Oh, he takes more physical damage than I thought he was going to. Not bad. Does less damage than I was expecting him to as well. Oh. Wow, that's useful. Not cool. Not cool at all. Blinded, eh? Okay, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a heat, um, health sink. And goes my pet power. It's unfortunate. No, it's still blinded, it looks that way. Shame he can't like unblind me with that. Probably oh, shouldn't be affected by that though. Oh, 17 damage. Gross. Ugh. 
Oh, that was a one hit. Nothing I could have done about that. Um, I don't have anything to do anything about that either. So... Who knows? So far, um, no. Let's heat things up. Let's see something. I just want to pretty much see if they have a pet power between them. Because if they... No, they don't. Well, they might. Um... Here we go. Scorched Earth. Oh, it's just for Eric. Okay. Um, that would be useful in this situation. Oh, never mind. Um, Got here because we need something. That one doesn't seem very useful. That one doesn't seem very useful. We go with this one. Still standing. That's that's bad. Uh, shit. He could wipe out the whole party here. Let's heat up. That was risky. That was super risky. <laughs> Nice and still while I tie you up. Mm, yes, please. <laughs> the battle is won. The slayer of the sands is bested. All in a day's work for the prince of Galopolis. <laughs> You saw me, man, did you not? You saw the people's prince defeat the fiend that terrorized them so. 
Uh, yes, your highness. Of course, your highness. <sighs> My thanks, friend. My heroic feat would not have been possible without your... valuable contribution. <laughs> I still have not forgotten what I promised. I will speak with my father about the rainbow upon my return. You may rest assured of that. Mm -hmm. Really, Principal? That's how you're gonna play it? What do you think they'll be expecting of you next, huh? You speak as though I have a choice! Are you suggesting that I disappoint my father and the citizens of Galopolis? <sighs> I'm not suggesting anything, darling. You do what you need to do. <laughs> Go, Galopolis, man! We return! Yeah. Ah, well, this feels all kinds of wrong. You're right, Silvano. Nothing's going to change if he keeps on pretending. Oh, I think the poor boy knows that well enough. All he needs is a little push. Anyway, I'd better be getting along. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again soon. Ciao for now, my loves. <laughs> Ciao. Breadwinner. Nice. All right. That that happened. Serana took a beating. I mean, well, no, she didn't take a beating, she got one shot. I think there's a... a serious difference there. What? Huh. Uh, yeah. Alright, with that, I think it's time for us to end this off here. Next time on Dragon Quest XI, we will head back to Galopolis and find out what the fallout of that whole thing was. See you guys then.